Hi everyone, big warm welcome back to the YouTube channel. So today's video, I have just got a lot of inspiring outfits to show you. I thought whether it's something that you could wear now, I don't know what you guys are up to, but also for just inspiration for like when you come out of lockdown, how you want to dress, what you want to dress like, and really give you some good ideas to who who you guys want to be when you finish when we finish this lockdown business. So I have some gorgeous outfits all from the high street today, and I'm going to style them up and talk through every piece with you. from Mango. What I loved about it is the tie waist. I am a big lover of tying things around the waist just because it really creates a gorgeous silhouette. I'm picturing this with an oversized shirt underneath, maybe a scarf underneath. I'm absolutely obsessed with blazers. I just think they're such a gorgeous way to look smart. So this is how I've styled up the blazer. I've just added this scarf which is ASOS Topshop via ASOS, I think just adding layers to blazers and belts around just is really what ups the style game. Like accessories are key when it comes to fashion. I just paired it with the Louis Vuitton. I thought the colors worked really, really nicely. Some Versace sunglasses. I've just popped on a pair of kitten heel boots as well. So really comfortable, really chic, really gorgeous. So this is the most beautiful dress from Mango. Mango have brought out this dress a couple of times. I mean, you might remember last year I had like a sagey green one. I just think they are so beautiful to have in a wardrobe. To bring it out year after year, it's that gorgeous kind of dress that you can wear for all occasions if you want to cover it. I feel really comfortable in this. And I, I like that it's long, it has sleeves that come down, but I always tend to like, I like to have my hands free. Um, so you could wear this as evening wear, you could wear it as casual, maybe I've got just paired it on with some riding boots underneath, I don't know if you can see, but um, I'm going to show you how I would kind of style it, because I have probably a signature style that I always kind of wear, but this is how I would style it. So I've just taken out the waist belt and popped on one of my own, this is actually from Mango 2, you guys know how much I love creating different looks with belts. So I've just got this gorgeous black kind of waist belt, I don't know if you can see it a little close, it really snitches in the waist. It's in the wrong bag, and my good old fedora, I just really love a hat, I can't help it guys. <laughs> I'm a hat lady <laughs> and I just think this is how if, if I personally was wearing this dress this is how I would style it just staring at you looking dumb dumb no I don't ever hold my tongue tongue I will never be what you expect maybe you need to get your eyes checked so because it is absolutely freezing at the moment in England it is so cold I have picked up this teddy coat. This really reminded me of the like £3,000 Max Mara coat. It is very, very similar. So if you were looking for a Max Mara dupe, this is definitely worth taking a look at. Now, when it comes to coats and teddy coats, I like to size up, like really size up to get that oversized fit to it. So I have, I would usually be an extra small on ASOS and this is a medium. So I have gone two sizes up. And I just really enjoy the oversized fit to it. I feel like this is one of the best ones I've seen on the high street as well. Um, just for the structure of it, how it fits, it feels really thick. It doesn't look like thin material because you get a lot of teddy coats that are really thin and just look really, really cheap. Whereas I think this looks um, very expensive looking. So this coat, I've kind of just kept it really simple underneath just to show you how important coats are because you could be wearing, this is just a black gym kit underneath, black boots but it just shows you how important outerwear is, your coat, your boots. So this is a gorgeous kind of teddy coat from Monkey and I love that it's so oversized. I've just paired it on with some Patricia Pepe boots, which I got from Farfetch. But um, look how snowy this is. I feel like it's got that really oversized Max Mara vibe to it. I tend, if I've got a big stubbly chunky knit on underneath, I will wear it off the shoulder like this. But definitely if you're looking for that high street Max Mara coat, 
this is the one and I think they restock it so keep an eye out. I will never be what you expect. Maybe you need to get your eyes checked. I don't care if you think I'm stuck up. So this jacket is this ivory kind of biker jacket. I've seen a lot of people wear this oversized. Um, it's got like lots of zip detailing pockets, but it's kind of like um, just over the bum. So it covers like just over the bum area. I just thought it was a really nice fit and length. Like long coats are sometimes not that practical. It's got this really gorgeous kind of stiff collar as well. And I thought to pair with white, you might have seen the pictures I've popped on Instagram recently where I have styled this jacket. I just think it's such a gorgeous way to like pair all neutrals together. Again, another crew outfit. Definitely I'm blending into the wall, but hopefully, as I said last night, hopefully you can see. I've just got the cream crop jacket over cream jeans. And this time these boots are from river island they have like a buckle detailing here <laughs> i don't know if you can see but um i really love cream i don't know i just think there's something about it that is just so striking this is definitely a jacket though you could wear a lot more casual like over a sports kit or a gym kit or leggings or something like that so let me try it on with a pair of trainers and maybe a gym kit for you to show you how you can wear it both up and down so this is how i would wear it a little bit more cooler <laughs> a little bit more laid back if i was running the shops or something i've just got leggings boots hoodie on underneath it and if it was sunny i would pop on my pair of gucci sunglasses i've just popped a little scarf on we've got a hoodie we've got the jacket over the top leggings boots um gucci sunglasses prada handbag and yeah this is it i don't care because you can't call my bluff i don't care if you think i'm a clown i don't care because you can't pin me down you can't pin me down so this is a gorgeous long black cardigan from River Island. This looks so, it looks so expensive on, honestly. I don't know if you can see, it's got this kind of like striped material here and then it's got these gorgeous pockets there. But um, it was just a beautiful long cardigan and I think that that is gonna be one of the most worn things in my wardrobe. It's just such a beautiful fit, like the way it drapes as well. So this is the River Island cardigan. I have just paired it with a belt, a um, good old fedora, Prada bag, and some boots, which I love from ASOS. They're actually very Givenchy-esque, if I show you here. Very Givenchy-esque. Um, just popped a mango waist belt around the middle. But this cardigan, I just think, looks so, so elegant and sophisticated. It definitely is what, honestly, I think this is gonna be one of the most worn things in my wardrobe, just cause it's so gorgeous looking. It's like really hard wearing material, like it's a thick knit, falls really nicely and you just cannot get it. Like I would, I would always wear a black long cardigan. Gorgeous sage green wrap around chunky knit. I love how thick this material is. It's so gorgeous. And this little detailing here is such a nice. Day. I love like kind of knits that are really chunky and um, just wrap around the body really nicely. So this is it on. I love this. I love this kind of wrap around tie cardigan for going around the house. I've just prepped it on with a pair of kitten heels, but this is definitely something I've just wore with bare feet around the house. Um, with a pair of loose fitting jeans. I think this is really super casual, but has this absolutely gorgeous neckline, like really elegant neckline. If I come a little closer, you can see this gorgeous tie detailing here. You can really tie it to fit you as well, so it really suits your body. Um, the sage green as well, perfect for going into the spring. And I just love this kind of, um, I just love this kind of fabric. It's like a really gorgeous soft wool against your skin. It kind of has this like billowing, kind of has these like billowing sleeves, like balloon sleeves, which was a really big trend in the catwalk. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a really good lounging around the house vibe from Zara. I feel like this isn't doing it justice off the hanger, but it comes with a waist belt. 
I just love blazers with waist belts. I feel like it really nips in the waist. This is kind of like an oversized feel to it. The fabric is really, really hard wearing, so it's not gonna get creased or anything like that very easily. I pictured this again with, I've got a really, I really love like playing around with scarves at the moment. You will notice there'll be a lot of scarves coming up, but I thought this with a gorgeous scarf underneath would look gorgeous. I feel like I've really gone for monochromatic looks today. We've got all whites, all blacks. Um, so this statement blazer, I feel like it just speaks for itself. If I come a little closer, it has this wrap around belt, which you can wrap around twice, but the structure of it is very on trend. Like this boyfriend kind of blazer with the waist pulled in was very on trend on all the catwalks. I've just got it with my coach bag. I absolutely love the rebranded coach. Coach kind of had this beautiful rebrand maybe maybe in the summer and they brought out their whole new tabby bags and I just absolutely adore them. So if you're looking for kind of like a luxury bag, which isn't too pricey, definitely check out Coach. I'll link a couple of my favorites below. Um, but yeah, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous blazer if anyone's looking for a statement blazer. And to finish off the look, I've just paired them with Versace glasses. This kind of shape of some glass is really on trend. I think it works really well with a statement blazer. <laughs> I don't care cause you can't call my bluff I don't care if you think I'm a clown I don't care cause you can't pin it down You can't pin it down So this is an ivory knit from Mango and I love trying and testing knits for you guys because it's all about the shape, it's all about the way they fall Not I hate the ones that are too like close to your neck It has to be exactly the right knit So there's a couple of knits coming up where I'm going to test out how I feel about them for you guys so this is a gorgeous kind of ivory color, very bright ivory may I add, it's not kind of a yellow one, it's a bright ivory. I, I just really enjoyed the loose fitting neckline, so hopefully when I try it on it will be as gorgeous as it looks off. So this knit is just a really simple, gorgeous knit. I've paired it really basically, a pair of jeans from H&M. Um, these are new in actually, these pair of jeans, but I would size um, down so a little bit loose if you want that really skin tight fit which I love I like them to be like <laughs> so do size down in them um, some just slouchy boots and I think this is such a gorgeous everyday knit um, I'm hoping it's not blending in with the white wall and you can see it properly it's just gorgeous around the neck as well if you are looking to invest in some knitwear definitely try and order this one because it's worth a try I will never be what you expect Maybe you need to get your eyes checked. So I am becoming such a lover of skirts. I think skirts are A, really, really comfortable and B, such a great alternative to trousers. If you see this one here, it has this gorgeous kind of pattern. H&M hey, do a really good job of throwing out really beautiful patterns every now and again. Um, so it's kind of like straight, but then it has this gorgeous little flare at the bottom. I don't know if you can see. It's got a go it's like a silk finish to it. So I just thought this paired with a chunky knit would look beautiful. I love the fit of it. I love how it just falls really, really beautiful. Just popped it on with some calf and calf like high boots. I think it fits really nicely at the bottom of the skirt. Big chunk knit, which is actually from HM2, my Prada bag. And if you can see here how just gorgeous this skirt falls I've just tucked the jumper up inside the skirt but I just love the different aspect to wearing a skirt over jeans sometimes I think it's a really feminine look and uh, really comfortable as well like there's nothing more comfortable than a little skirt long ivory kind of color and I was looking for a really beautiful ivory coat because you guys know I'm obsessed with pairing all ivory together so it's a belted coat I really like the belted kind of stars because they not only look great over evening wear for those far off parties we may go to in the future but also it looks great with jeans and it's more of a laid back kind of feel too so I think it's great for both occasions so I pictured this with like obviously an ivory knit underneath I am hoping that you can see this outfit considering I am standing against a white wall. Didn't plan this very well, did I? 
But um, this is the cream jacket from Mango. I've actually popped a Zara knit on underneath it instead of the one in the rail just because the cream color really worked better with this color. That's the tricky thing about creams. You have to pair the, you, so many different shades of cream. Who knew? Um, but I managed to find an all cream outfit in the same shade. Um, these are Primark, Boots of Public Desire. Knit Zara jacket mango and I just love the all cream look. I think it's so refreshing, so beautiful looking, really elegant looking and I am the clumsiest person in the world and I still don't manage to get anything on my cream outfits. Um, it belts around the middle so you can actually belt it up and it look really really nice as well. I do enjoy how loose they are as well to fit a really gorgeous chunky knit underneath. So that is everything guys. I hope you liked the pieces I picked out today. I will do a little recap for you now. box below along with the sizes to, for reference for you guys i'm five foot four for help and yeah i hope you're doing really good guys i know this this situation is so rubbish but um it's all about making the most out of bad situations so if you guys want to talk feel free to comment on any of my images on instagram or down below i'm always there best place to find me is in the comment section and also if you guys aren't following me on instagram please do it's at the laura blair it really helps as well if you see my images like comment and save is the best one um i'd really appreciate your support if you come over from youtube definitely if you see an image put this emoji here it would really help me out and yeah i hope you guys are doing good and i'll see you very soon for another video 